In this lecture, we're going to create our own custom pipe. By the end of this lecture, you're going to know how to create your own custom pipes. And you're also going to know how to pass in parameters to your custom pipe. So one pipe I find really useful when building web applications is a default pipe, which I use for things like avatar images. And I'd use it with an image tag like this. So we have an image tag and I'm binding to the input source property an image URL from my component. Now, if that image URL is empty, or to handle the case that when that URL is empty, I still want to display something to the user. So I typically would, would tend to create a default pipe. So I would pipe that URL to the default pipe. And to the default pipe, I want to pass a string. So if there's no image URL or if it's blank, I want it to show this URL. And that's the pipe we're going to create. So to create this pipe, let's create a class. And just like most things in Angular, we need to decorate this class. So we need to decorate it with a pipe decorator. And we need to include our pipe decorator. It comes from Angular Core, so we just add it to our main import there. And we can configure our pipe with a name. And this is the name of the pipe as we're going to use it in our application. And we're going to call it default. So I'll put default in here. And then just remember to add that default pipe to our declarations like I've done here. Now the actual logic for the pipe is put in a function called transform on the class itself. So the first argument to the transform function is the value that gets passed into the pipe. So the thing that goes before the pipe character. So the value would be the image URL that gets passed to the pipe. So ours is going to be a string. The second parameter to the transform function is the first parameter, the first argument we pass into our pipe. So the thing that goes after the colon here. So I'm going to call that fallback and it's going to be a string. So a very simple version of this function might look like this. So if value is equal to something, then we use that as the image. If value isn't equal to something, then we use the fallback as the image, and that's what we return in our transform function. So now if I run the application, remember our image URL is blank, so I expect this to fall back to using this silly Leo face. And that's what's getting displayed is that silly Leo image, our default image. So that's how we just do a basic pipe. We just decorate a class, add a transform function, and just add a parameter. But how do we actually support multiple parameters in our pipe? So let's imagine we want to support an optional third parameter called force HTTPS. Now if the image we selected doesn't use HTTPS, the pipe will convert the URL to one that does use HTTPS. And that's pretty simple to support additional parameters in pipes. We just add more parameters to our transform function. And with TypeScript, we can also give it a default value of false. And then at the end here, we'll just check to see if that last parameter is true. And if it is, we'll ensure the URL starts with HTTPS.
And to use this optional third parameter, we just extend the pipe syntax in our template with another colon. So at the end here, this is the first parameter to our default pipe. We extend it with another colon. And then I want to pass in true to make the force HTTPS Boolean equal to true. Now, if you see our default image actually starts with HTTP. So now if I run our application and then let's open this image in a new tab, you'll see it's actually using HTTPS because we're forcing it to use HTTPS. So in summary, creating a pipe is very simple in Angular. We just decorate a class with the pipe decorator. We provide a name and we create a transform function and that's it, we're done.